I need a wooden mallet. I'm going to make a wooden mallet. Now I have those two, two uh, pieces of, uh, of wood. Okay, that's the handle and the mallet itself. Okay, there's a piece of maple now that I'm going to use for the handle. And I don't use power tools. Like that. But anyway, this is what the handle and like I said, it's made of maple. Newfoundland maple is really hard stuff. Really good for for handles, and the mallet itself is going to be made out of birch. And this is a piece of birch right, right there. So I'll just work away at that now for a while. It's the rough outline of the of the mallet there now. Now for a bit of sanding.
the handle all this way. I can actually do it whichever way, whichever way I want, but this is the handle here. So now I gotta make a little three-quarter, three-quarter dowel on the tip of this. And I'll make my own sanding disc, by the way. That's only just a bolt put up through. And I got several different sizes, like two inch, three inches, and uh, bigger, so. This is my, uh, my mallet part, the weight, this birch. Let's just take a sharp axe and this is part of splinters usually. Off. If you have a good sander, you can. I got lots of stuff sandered here, but I don't bother to use power tools. Jason, this is what you should be carrying around the woods in case the wolves attack you. One of these little, those little mallets. Just kidding. I'm going to drill a three quarter hole in, right into there now. Now you've got to drill that with a, with a, at least I need a, a spade bit because they don't carry on through. So let's see if I got one. That's one inch. Now I got this uh, handle made, so I got to see what size I need the hole. Uh, the time that this is, this uh, seven eight. I mean, there's a 7.8. That's a bit too small, I'd say. One inch. Yeah, one inch would probably do it. Be better. So I'll make it one inch instead of a three quarter. Okay, I've got a one eight or a one inch uh, bit put in there. So we're going to try that now. See, and I the reason why I changed it is because this one had a screw. Uh, this bit had a screw in it, and I didn't want it to carry on through, so I got a stop put there now, and and uh, I'll lower this down another little bit. Tighten up right there, set her up, and we'll see what kind of cut it's going to be. I don't think that bit, yeah, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a little edge cutters on it, so that's not a good bit. I got a 7-8 there. That one, that one's got the little edge cutters on it, so it should do a, a better job. So a little I'll try tip, that. when you're doing uh, metal work, I got a magnet put on the top when I'm using for steel or drilling iron. Put a magnet on top, which uh, your, uh, your drillings, fallings and stuff comes off and sticks to the bit. And you don't be losing it all over the place in your fingers, eyes, whatever. Anyway, I'm using a seven eight. That one's got the uh, got the two little cutters on the edges, so and there's a steel bit, and he's also bent it a little bit. So I'm gonna have to hold that instead of clamp it. Try it, try that, and see the, see what I can do with it. As you can see it's a little wobbly. I just take my time. I just leave the wobble there. If I, if I clamp it down solid, it's going to be a mess. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And as you can see, as it goes down, it's, it's going to be good. And there's birch. Mm. 
Now this is going to be a rough, rough job on the mallet, really. Mm, I almost did it that time. I'm not going to go really through. No need of it. A couple of inches in, probably. I'm going to have to put, put that off a bit and start it before it goes down. That way, that way I won't ruin the front. The iron wood that burnt. That's pretty well true. This one there, I know it's way there now, so I, I think I'll leave it at that. I don't think I'll go on true with it. Probably until the bit starts to protrude. So I, well, I want to put it right through. I'd start on that side and go through, but I'm not going to do that. So this is the handle that I'm making right there. So this is going to be where my hand is going to be. The way, that's the way. That's the way I want it to look. So I got to make a dowel on this end right there to fit in there. So that's seven eighths. So I'll just do the seven eighths. seven eighths diameter. Get the depth of the hole. And that's the dip to the hole right there, roughly. So I just put a mark right around here. And that's the far end as I go, and it's need seven, seven each. So I'll do that with the axe. I'll just put a random mask around there with, with, with the sanders and I'll just trim that off here. That should be a big 7 8. You just do that on until it's around 7 8 anyway. You can also put a wedge in there. So I was putting it in this block. You just put a soft crust. Put a soft crust down the house here. Lodge the wedge in there before you put it into the, into the block of the wood. And when you drive it in, the wedge will go in. Do all the, this glue, of course. Now it's coming down. So I'm going to saw a curve right down across, right down across the top of Make a little wedge to put in this one. And when it goes into this block here, the wedge, I'll put the wedge in there. And when it goes in, glue, of course. And when it goes in, the end is not way right through, so the wedge will be driven into there, and that will create a Permanent uh, fixture until you, well, you break the handle off or whatever. So, yeah. I'm do that not a little bit.
put a little uh, put a little kerf in that right there now. So what I'll do, I'll put a wedge in this, a wedge in there, leave it out, and when I drive it in, it'll go in with a bit of glue. There's the little wedge there, so don't need very much. Oh my god. Yeah. Here's your little maw, mallet. Now if you want to clean it up a bit, you can, but this is, all this is just for something I need right now. Put an oakum in a boat. Now if you want, you can uh, take a sander and get all those little marks out, finish it off, and uh, varnish them. So uh, anyway, I'll do that too. Put a bit of stain on it and that wood finish. This uh, oak, this, again, this min wax. And uh, okay, make it look like a mall or whatever you want to call it. Mallet, wooden mallet. I guess. And it penetrates the wood. And I'll put some polyurethane on it after. You can see it going into the wood. This is maple, dandel, and uh, birch. Birch. Uh, I don't mind getting a bit on my fingers. And we're, this is where it's going in the wood. You're going to be particular. Particular with this, it's just a steam pretty well. Okay. So this is the hammer. Small, whatever you want to call it.